All right, so now that we've found the mean and the median, we're going to look at how do the mean and the median change with different distribution shapes. So we're gonna look at our symmetric, we're gonna focus just on the bell-shaped distribution, and then we're gonna look at skewed right and skewed left distributions. And we're gonna look at how those distributions affect where the mean and the median lie. So if we recall our symmetric distribution, when it's the bell-shaped distribution, looks kind of like this, okay? So remember the bell-shaped distribution, the highest point under of that histogram is in the middle, and then you have tails on the left and the right of about equal length and equal kind of like speed of decreasing. So when we have a symmetric distribution, the mean is going to be right in the middle. Here's the mean. And the median is also going to be right in the middle. They may not be exactly the same value, but they're going to be relatively close. So when you're looking at something, ask yourself, okay, are these two numbers relative to you know, everything that I could have for values, are these values pretty close or are they really far away? If they're pretty close to each other, then you have a symmetric distribution. If they're really far away from each other, then we have a skewed distribution. And which one is bigger is going to tell us which skewed distribution we have. So a skewed right distribution, recall, has most of the data in the histogram on the left. And then we have a long tail. It's a really long tail going off to the right. So now on a skewed right distribution, the median is still going to fall in the middle. The median is not going to be affected by the skew. It's going to be in the middle of the graph. However, the mean is going to be affected by the skew. So the mean is going to get pulled towards that tail. So when you have a skewed right distribution, the mean is larger than the median. Okay, and I'm gonna rewrite that just because that doesn't look so great. Let's rewrite that. Okay, here we go. So we have the median and we have the mean and the mean is the bigger one. So remember when we're looking at these sort of which one's bigger symbols, the alligator, as I was always taught, is going to try and eat the bigger number. So the opening is going towards the bigger number. So with a skewed right distribution, the mean is bigger than the median. And then in a skewed left distribution, recall, we have a long tail on the left, and then most of the data on the histogram is off on the right-hand side. So just as before, the median is still in the middle of this graph. Here's the, nah, here's the middle. That's where my median falls. But the mean, we already saw in an example where the mean got pulled down because of that really small number. So just as it got pulled into the tail for the skewed right distribution, the mean gets pulled towards the left skew tail as well. And now in this case, we have our mean and we have our median. And now the median is the larger number. So this is how the shape of your distribution can affect your mean and your median values.